Hey guys, Rory is here. Welcome to Dishonored 2. <laughs> I've given it quite a break between the first game and this game. Uh, mainly because Dishonored 1 did take a while for us to get through, but also I had a couple of things that I wanted to get through first. But now we have an opportunity to play Dishonored 2. I have been holding off playing this for so long. I remember buying this like... When did it come out again? <laughs> it was... A, it was at least some point at the end of last year after I had started YouTube. I bought it and I was like, oh, I'm gonna play this for the channel. <laughs> Never got around to playing it, but I've set the the graphics to as best settings I think as I can get for this with recording as well. So fingers crossed, everything goes well. Let's start a new game. I have played a lot of Dishonored, but no, I'll stick with medium because I'm gonna be playing as a character that I'm not familiar with. Do you want to start the tutorial? I'm gonna, that was what I was kind of planning, I was thinking, let's let's do the tutorial of this game. There was no tutorial in the original game, um, but there's a tutorial in this one. So I thought I'd give, I it, a, give it a go. Training with my father in the years after the rat plague. Oh, did I just skip it? Or did I successfully pause it? I did not remember to put subtitles on. <sighs> Someday, he said, our enemies will come for you. This music sounds so familiar. Dunwall Waterfront. Mobility training. Meet up with your father. Okay. Well, the graphics look awesome. They look like they're smooth as butter on the recording. Never change much. This is my city. Well, they're not... Maybe not butter, but you know, as good as I can usually get with OBS. Yeah, I've already figured out how to sprint. What training regimen does Father have in store for me today? All right, Majesty. Yes. Let's see what you can do. Um, okay. So this is definitely much later. I'm an, I'm an adult as Emily. Emily was a child in the first game. Oh, nope. Fixing that right away. <laughs> oh, they said they said block slash choke as left control. Okay, so, god damn it. Who actually enjoys Crouch being C? I don't understand. So, deal is here, I'm gonna be playing this pacifist. I always play pacifist the first round. Uh, so I'm gonna try and play this pacifist. So blocking slash choking is incredibly important for me. God damn it, the controls are all over the place. R? Is there anything? Okay, something was already on R. That could be H. <laughs> this is usually what happens when I get into a game. There's like a, there's a little game I play when I first start a game, and that is get the settings to be the way I want them to be. Get the controls to be the way I want them to be. <laughs> what I find, what I think is really funny is that half the time there's this little game where you, you, you bind one thing to one button. That will like unbind something else. Then you have to bind that to another button. Then that will unbind something else. And then you have to bind that to another button. <laughs> Until everything is how you want it to be. That's weird. There's no button for picking up stuff. So I'll put that on E. Yeah, I don't need... I don't want these. <laughs> uh, unassign. I don't need toggle leans. I have alt for lean. And I can just use left and right. I shouldn't need separate buttons for them. Yeah, I, n I never like... The original implementation of lean. I like having a button and th that allows you to lean, but in, a, in some older games, like Q and E were lean buttons, but that's so not good for keyboard settings. For a controller, you can have like L and R to be lean or L2 and R2 um, to be lean because, you know, that's sort of natural. <laughs> but yeah, no, I don't like e Q and E being lean. I've never liked that. Or maybe R is use, so I'll pick stuff up with R as well. Oh, here's one that I usually change. Quick save F6 rather than F5. And F9 is load, that's good. Okay. Let's apply these settings. Okay. That's better. <laughs> Control while sh sprinting to slide. Easy as cake. Yeah, perfect. Oh. Starting position. I have to sprint, vault the obstacle, then slide under. Okay. 
good. Oh yeah. This is just a tutorial, so there's no items that I can find, I don't think. Um. Oh, swimming. Was uh shift to swim faster, space to rise, control to deep dive, yep. Cool. All the normal settings, that's wonderful. Are near a chain. Yeah, so what they've done is they've set ready weapon and use or interact I'll to the same button. Spend every day running and jumping. <laughs> For my sanity's sake. <laughs> I'm gonna use E as that, and then block block and choke as F. I don't like block being on F, but I shouldn't need it. I shouldn't need block. I'm doing pacifist. No one should even see me for most of the game. Oh, there we go. Now let's see how quick my feet are. Okay. Come to me. <laughs> yeah. You've learned well. Let's see how quiet you are, young lady. Okay, stealth. Press control to toggle stealth mode. Yep, I already know. Oh wait, uh, I'll just read this really quick to make sure it hasn't changed. Yeah, it's all the same. I want you to sneak up on me. If you can. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, when does this begin? begins right away. Is he going to turn around? Get behind the enemy, catch them by surprise, and choke them unconscious. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> yeah. Hear you or see you. Given time, an enemy will notice you. Oh, an awareness level came up above his head. When enemies begin to detect you, yeah, I, I've se I've seen this before. The their peripheral vision. And it, it seems to work basically the same as the original, but a little bit more. A little bit easier to understand. Oh. He so nearly saw me just then. Use cover to stay out of sight. Oh, right. My bad. <laughs> okay, let's just choke about. It said something about pickpocket. I didn't realize. Uh, whoops, I didn't steal Corvo's key. Damn it! <laughs> I didn't realize that was the mission. Watch the patrol route. Crouch down and approach from behind. <laughs> didn't see anything at all. I didn't read the, the mission, so I didn't know. Atano, hidden like a secret, quiet as the sunset. <laughs> um, <laughs> I didn't read the mission, so I didn't realize I was supposed to steal his key. Uh, ooh. Remember. Will wake up everyone in the building. Your crossbow is quiet. Where is he talking to me from? <laughs> His voice was like above me. Okay. Turnbuckle? What the hell is that? Oh, cool. <laughs> I am the perfect shot. Uh, throw empty bottles. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, Spirit of the Deep. Ooh. I'm not going to read everything. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Time for some more weapons and combat training. Let's beat each other up, shall we? <laughs> ah! Yes. You made it up. That's my daughter. <laughs> uh. When someone swings a sword at you, 
block. No, my block is F. So that's gonna be that's awkward. Good. Well done. Oh. Block with your blade. <laughs> yes. If you time your block right, oh my you'll throw an enemy off balance. I think I was already doing that. Yeah. You're quick. Smart move. <laughs> That'd stop even the most black-hearted killer. <laughs> sure. You can choke an enemy out, even in combat. Oh. Um. Oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's what they should have had in the first game. <laughs> when an enemy is off balance, you can land a lethal counterattack. Oh. Oops. Well, oh, I think he's off balance. Deliver a fatal blow. There we go. I see. <laughs> it's weird hearing Corvo talk because he never did in the, Feel in the main game. You can take care of yourself. When trouble does finally come. You're ready to fight. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Why do we celebrate the anniversary of an assassination? Fifteen years ago, in the middle of a plague that nearly destroyed Dunwall, a paid killer assaulted the palace where I was born and stabbed my mother in the heart. In the aftermath, the men who sent the assassin tried to use me as a pawn in a game of power. They would have succeeded, but my father, Corvo Atano, hunted them down and cut their conspiracy to pieces. All these years later, am I the ruler my mother wanted me to be? Now, we face a new crisis. A monster the papers are calling the Crown Killer has been picking off my enemies and dressing it up like my father and I are responsible. Right. I don't know whether to get on a ship and sail to the opposite side of the world, or to have everyone around me executed. I know little bits about the story of this game, so I know... I think I know where this is coming from. Watch your step, Majesty. I'm not looking forward to all the ceremony today. Your signet ring. There. You're ready. Thank you, Alexei. Open the doors. Hail her Imperial Majesty, Emily Caldwin. Loyal subjects, we're going through a difficult time, but today we honor my mother, the late Jessamine Caldwin. Mm. May her memory survive through the ages. These are like the Emily. flowers. I'm tired, Father. They Every talked about year, in the previous the game. The of Jessamine's death will be easier, but it never is. I wish Mother was still the Empress. I don't think I'm very good at this. You're still learning. Don't worry about the rabble rousers, and we'll catch the crown killer eventually. People are saying it's you, that these assassinations are a misguided effort to protect me. No, someone's trying to make us look guilty by targeting your enemies. I wish mm. I could just run away from all this. Sometimes you do. You think I don't know about your nights out on the rooftops? Oh, I can actually move the camera the a little bit. The ceremony will be over soon. <laughs> Royal Protector and Father. Mm. We should have passed a law against that combination of titles years ago. <laughs> Your Majesty, before we begin the day's observances, we have an unexpected visitor. The Duke of Sirkonos. Ramsay says the Duke is bringing special gifts. That's mm. intriguing. His Grace Luca Abel, Duke of Sirkonos. Mechanical soldiers? Amazing. What is this, Ramsey? I didn't authorize those things. Your 
Imperial Majesty and Royal Protector Corvo Atano, a native of our homeland. Taconis offers condolences on this sorrowful day and gifts to remind you of our nation, the rising star on the southern horizon. We thank you, Your Grace. Save your thanks. For now, I give you the greatest gift of all, family. I present the lost sister of Jessamine Caldwin, your rightful empress, Delilah Caldwin. Impossible. Oh my god. Yep. My mother had a sister? Dearest niece, hello. It's not true. Yeah. My father was Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin, and Jessamine was my younger sister. At the time of her death, I wasn't ready to make myself known to you, and I was forced to leave Dunwall. But now I'm home. If you really are my mother's sister, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Little Damn it, Emily spell. doesn't know. Blackened by bad memories, I'm here to relieve you of your crown. My father's promise, whispered in secret so many years ago, is now fulfilled. Watch your tongue. Emily Caldwin is the daughter of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Royal Protector, how naive to think you could get away with these murders. Living in my palace has protected you, but that's over. Hear me, all of you. Your rightful Empress has returned. All hail the Empress Delilah. First of her name. Arrest Emily Caldwin and her father for How the old is Emily? murder. What? I was gonna say, in, in every kingdom or queendom, I guess, that I know of, God. I think that's an excuse for him losing his powers. Uh, Delilah takes them from you. Right, this is where you get to choose. You get to choose who you want to play as. I have always said that I wanted to play as Emily Caldwin because I want to see her different powers. She has very different powers to Corvo. So, depending on who you choose in the starting bit depends on how the game plays for the rest of the game. Something I'll, I'll mention, for what we were just talking about before, if Emily is of age, then she is actually the rightful ruler. Like, when a king or queen has a child, they're not the rightful ruler until they're of age. But once they're of age, they're the, they're the initial bloodline, so they are actually the rightful ruler. So, the person in, in this case, Emily, if she's old enough to rule, then she is actually rightful ruler. Delilah has no claim to the throne in this context. If Emily was dead, she would. She would be the first one to, to claim it over, uh, you know, the, she'd be the next in line. But Emily looks as, like she's of age, surely. Whatever the case, let's play as Emily. Um, right, so you can choose like that. Play as Emily, yes. Right, I think probably the reverse happens if you select Corvo. Girl. Over time you will come to love me. Perhaps someday you'll see me as the mother you lost. But until then, you'll be kept out of trouble. I'll lock Lady Emily in her chambers, and I'll bring her to cold <gasps> prison until her trial. And that makes no sense. I know it's I, I'm pretty sure that it's going for the father lost it all when the I angle and so I wear this uniform and I send um. 20 year olds out to patrol the rose gardens instead of drinking with the men from the shooting club. Captain Ramsey, I heard shouting. Lady Emily, what happened? Oh my god. I'll be all Captain Mayhew. No. Well, that's the Royal Protector's fancy weapon. What kind of sword folds in half? Yeah, I'm assuming that Delilah has all the people under her spell, you know, under her um, control. And that's why they're throwing Emily in prison. You would, once again, you would never throw a royal in prison for ruling. There's a legend in the Tower Guard about the Empress's last resort, a safe room inside your chambers holding enough gold to buy a good-sized island. They say that this ring is one of the only two keys to exist. <laughs> wow. 
Why would he say that to me? That's what weird. Happened? Alexei. The throne room. Father. Hmm. Nothing I can do alone. I need to get out of here. Well. Should I just spin it and pick a place to hide for a while? <laughs> I need time to think. Yeah. Read this letter from the Tivian Trade Commission. Hmm. Can extinguish the fire, the candelabra. So yeah, for a lot of people it's just a power play. They're just doing this because it means that they'll be better off. Um, advisor Hemsworth. Uh, Hemswater, sorry. Helmswater. <laughs> right, they're talking about the, the person who's been killing people that are our enemies. And it's totally obvious now why they've been doing that. Ship launch protocol. Oh, I see. <laughs> Okay, so there's a boat. There's a, um, there's a, the Empress, J uh, Emily Caldwin. Or is it the Jasmine Caldwin? I've already forgotten. Oh? The, there's a ship named after either me or after I'm, my mother. And, uh, it's, oh. Yeah, and that's probably our way out. Oh, I've got a grandfather clock. used to hide frogs in this old grandfather clock to drive the housekeepers mad. <laughs> I thought life was complicated back then. <laughs> um, okay, so I don't think there's anything in here that I can use. I don't think. Inspect painting. The Hound Pits Pub. Uh, I can't believe it, but I actually miss those times. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there's going to be anything secret in here. Although I can't get that out of my mind. I don't know why. Whatever the case, let's hop out here. times have I looked at that skyline? It feels like everything just changed. Yeah. Okay, well, um, I can't jump. Can I shimmy through here? No. Can't go that way. I don't intend on jumping. Can I climb up here? Can I go out one of the other windows, maybe? No, the other ones are locked. I doubt I'll reach that far. Why would they have a window if it's not useful? <laughs> like, have a look through the These keyhole. These bastards are working with Ramsey and the Duke of Circonos. And Delilah. <laughs> oh. Scheduled for Middle Songs Eve. All oh, right, it's just what we've been up to. The hell? What am I missing? I am honestly so confused. What the hell? I've like, I've interacted with everything in the room. I've even jumped off the cliff over there, or jumped off the edge of the building, and that didn't work. I've inspected everything, I've read all the notes. Did, did one of the notes have something more important on it that I just missed? There's not even anything I can pick up and throw to get someone's attention, or to smash something. I can't get into this. Oh my god, I can't open these. I checked that. It was literally the second thing I checked. It was like, oh, can I go through these windows here? I didn't get close enough for it to actually... Is some sort of witch. How is this possible? Oh, I'm mad. I'm mad about it. <laughs> Lady Emily, oh. you're all right. I was worried. Oh my god. Where's the royal protector? There's a coup underway. My father is... He's imprisoned, for lack of a better word. Mm. You've got to get out of the tower. Through your safe room. There was a captain earlier today, down at the docks. Looking for the royal protector. Find her. Get out of Dunwall. Alexei. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Yeah. So, uh, we'd equipped our other people with the same kind of sword that uh, Corvo used. I wonder what happened to all the people that we met in the previous game. 
We're stealing from ourselves. Can't dally. No time for that now. If only this were Delilah's head, or the Duke's. <laughs> Oh, there's the lock, I need I'm assuming. Ring. Yeah. <sighs> I, I think it would have been better if the guy hadn't known about the ring. It would have been better if he just took the ring, because it's like a, a neat memento, and then it's only afterwards that we're like, shit, he took, out, took my ring. I need that to get into this door, you know? <laughs> I don't know, it seems... Oh, audience request. Get a Mayhew. All oh, right, so this is the the dreadful whale. Oh right, so that's yeah, that's the guy who was looking for Corvo. Table clock. Uh oh. Yeah, oh, I thought that must be the case. Oh. No! No! Okay, wait, wait, no, 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 I'm not gonna let that happen. Why is that the way that works? That's so dumb. Oh, that's so dumb! Okay, I was just trying to get lean to work. The way they've done it in this game is worse than in the previous game. <laughs> oh my god. Apply settings. Now there isn't a button for it that you hold and then you press the directions that you can lean. No, if you... <laughs> if you have... If you have it set to toggle, then... Alt... You can't... You can't have left and right bound, like this, bound in the same way that up and down are bound. The way it worked in the first game was perfect. Why did it have it? I can't. I can't lean now. <laughs> so luckily, my mouse has a bunch of extra buttons. Okay, I can use lean using my mouse. <sighs> Why change a good thing? It was. It worked really well. It was one of the only games I liked the leaning in. What am I? Yeah, it's just I'm telling me about lean now. Leg, that's what. Nothing. Worse than nothing. Okay, first kill, or <laughs> well, first knockout. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> let's drop him. Yeah, let's drop him here. And you can actually assassinate people now when they're on the floor as well. Right, we already know about Corvo. We knew, we know everything we'd ever need to know about Corvo. I think. Oh, this is my room. This is the room I was stuck in. Wonderful. Oh, there's a guard down there. Okay, let's go this way. There's a hookah. This reminds me of good times with friends. With Wyman. <laughs> All gone now. Hmm. Same sort of looting system by the looks of it. I don't have any, don't have any powers yet, so... In the first game, you had the the prison mission where you didn't have any powers, but once you were out of the prison, you had lots of powers. <laughs> Crown Killer strikes again. Ichabod Boyle. Oh, one of the Boyle sisters. Huh. Or maybe Ichabod is one of the is the the man in that fa family. Because I've never heard of Ichabod before, but I've heard the Boyle surname. Put in a Don't you dare. Okay. Traitors. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, it's a map. This is a map of Gristle. Uh, Dunwall is down. Yeah, there's Dunwall, the blue, uh, the blue gem there. Oh, it's not just Gristle. It's also Sarkonos and Tivia and Morley. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's the map of the Isles. I'm sorry. Sorry you had to die, people. Those bastards. The throne room blocked off, we should have the time we need. Just stay here and stall anyone who comes by. I'll be mm. back when I've searched the royal chambers. Assuming I don't accidentally lock myself in this damn safe room. We'll cover for you if anyone from the Duke's party returns. Huh. This is exciting. If New mission? Uh, clue? Everything's right, it's changing. just about executions. <laughs> The natural order is reasserting itself. The Ramses once hosted the king and queen of Morley. Did you know that? I spent my childhood playing with the buntings and the boils, and the cream of society. Then very soon you'll be back at the top, Captain. <laughs> Ramses' family fell from the aristocracy, and apparently the man holds a grudge. How it's my fault, that's beyond me. But one way or another, Ramsey is too dangerous to be left in play. Yeah. So immediately we have an opportunity to either kill or not kill a target. Okay. Don't let him see any of the bodies. He's already seen the bodies of the people he's killed. Okay. There we go. The door still opened. There we go, loot. <laughs> Got my ring. This won't leave my hand again. Yeah. Imperial seal, I just got the achievement. Cool. And I will carry him away. Place Mortimus, Mortimus in the safe room, okay. So I've got more to do before I'm I've done the neutral route. I guess, or the, the pacifist route. Hmm. Okay. Well, can I use this while holding him? Nope. Anton Sokolov made this lock. Ah. I believe we actually see uh, Sokolov at some point. But I don't know about Piero. I'm interested if we see Piero anywhere. Nice. Alright, well. It said something about place Mortimer in the safe room. So let's just have a quick look around here before I place him down. Uh, nothing of interest? Okay, cool. Let's place him just somewhere like here. Lock him in the safe room. <laughs> Along with the gold he coveted. Yeah. Pistol bullets. I don't even have a pistol yet. Whispers from the Void by Barnoli Mulani. Ooh. Another another one. I think it's two two volumes of the same kind of book. Oh, and here we go. S and J Health Elixir. Sokolov and Joplin. Oh my God. I better take these. So yeah, because um, it was uh, Joplin Piero or Piero Joplin. Anton Sokolov and Piero Joplin. I think were the names of the two scientists. So the latest health uh, elixir. Wait, I'll just see what that is. Ah, yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, the latest health potion is made by both of them. That's freaking cool. All oh, right, we've already the read that. The killer must be connected to all this with the yeah. Duke and Delilah. Yay, we have all our stuff. I have a feeling I'll need these. We've got my gun, my bow. Oh, that's my that's my scope. Oh, it's not my crossbow. And there's. Like a version of Corvo's mask, I think. That's terrifying. There's another map of the of the Isles. Ah, <laughs> uh, picture from Emily. This is Emily's like old room from when she was a child. Letter from Wyman. Oh, is this the Duke? Is it? Yeah, that bastard. Samuel Beechworth. Carving. Old Samuel made this. Oh. Glad he didn't live to see me driven out of Dunwall Tower. Hmm. Yeah, he's no longer around. 
But that's good. It's nice to hear that Sam was still around. Oh, some pistol bullets. Uh, okay, what else is in here? Some food. A few safes. Can I just get into these? The I can. The won't help against Delilah. Oh. Even if I had a way to carry I see. out of here. Oh, I see. So this is where all the gold is kept. I'll give the little ink it. Yeah. Um. Oh, there's a statue of me, I think. Either me or my mother. Oh, it's the friggin' two. It's, uh, what are they call the brothers. They're, they're Trevor Pen the Pendleton brothers. That's it. Um, alright, well, let's do what we're supposed to do to get the... <laughs> to get the pacifist or non-lethal execution or elimination. Non-lethal elimination. Um, can I... How do I lock him in here? Oh, I can... Oh, here we go. Yeah. I was wondering about that. Now you've got what you wanted, Ramsey. <laughs> the Imperial suite atop Dunwall Tower. Stay put until this is all set straight, Ramsey. <laughs> Enjoy the rations and well water. Sleeping next to a fortune. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna eat some of this food real quick. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> Good luck surviving in here. Uh, let's go. Wait, stay in the tower for a second. I didn't miss anything, did I? I probably did. Oh well. <laughs> Let's go to Dunwall Streets. Until I understand this, I have to go into hiding. Hmm. I should make my way to the docks. I have a quick read of this. So, the whaling trade. So this is, yeah, this history stuff. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. What uh, would my old governess say? <laughs> Callista would probably tell me to sit up straight and to marry Wyman. She'd ask me when the War of the Four Crowns ended. Sixteen twenty-five. Hmm. Ah, oh, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. I was like, War of the Four Crowns. And it's a it's a historical event in this world. Uh, yeah. Here's the Curtis Morgan and postulate child. Oh, right, because P Curtis and Morgan were like the the esteemed brothers, and then Trevor was the postulate child. Uh, but yeah, cool. We can take some stuff with us as we leave. Is there anything else of value in here? I feel like a lot of these books are telling stuff about the, the history, which we know because we played uh, the first game, you know? <laughs> we don't need to see it all. Grab some coins. And let's get out of here. Open. Close it behind us. I've got to get out of Dunwall. <laughs> oh man, the, the rooftops look awesome in this game. I've got to get away. I should talk to the captain of that ship. Yeah. See, I thought we'd be going on the Jessamine Caldwin, but it seems like we're going on the, uh, what was it called? The Sad Whale. <laughs> it's the Dreadful Whale. There we go. Yeah, so apparently that's the dreadful whale. But, I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm going to leave it a bit short. I don't know... You can fall from moderate height without taking damage. Right. It's good to know. Uh, yeah. I think that this game's chapters work a little bit differently from the first game. So, I don't think there's going to be as clear-cut episodes to, uh, you know, to end, end videos on. So, now that we've got started, we've got our foot in the door we've set ourselves up we'll pick up from here next time and we'll really get going because i believe once we do this we set sail away from the from um dunwall away from the kingdom or queendom um the empire we step away from the empire and we move to an area in Sokonos. i feel like that's what i know but we'll find out that next time won't we <laughs> so Previously, the problem, one of the problems I had with uh, Dishonored, the first series, is that because of the length of the episodes, sorry, because of the length of the missions, episodes ended up being quite long, like up, upwards of an hour long. I want to try and make these episodes a little bit shorter, so that it's a little bit more digestible. Seeing as we have already had an, an elimination target sort of thing, uh, I feel like this is a good place to just leave it. <laughs> so, 
Until next time, if you like what you saw, hit like. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe. There's <laughs> a whole lot more Dishonored 2 coming right up. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, 